Okay, I just finished recording um, my Hugak games, and so I wanted to do a quick deck tech on a Mono Red Prison, aka No Fun Red, or Azkaban, as I like to call it. Uh, so here's a breakdown of the deck, quick deck tech. So I have three Fiery Islets, uh, gives me my red sources, uh, allows me to, to cycle for some cards. I mean, Horizon Canopies are great. Gemstone Caverns are great, especially when we combine them with Serum Powder. Now this uh, deck is not, didn't start, I didn't develop it all on my own. I did start with a, an S, uh, uh, SCG list from San Diego, fourth place from early June, I believe. Uh, but it didn't have any of the newer cards in it. Uh, it also was pre-London Mulligan. And so I wanted to make some changes to reflect that. Uh, and so, of course, I have these lands uh, with a London Mulligan, the Gemstone Caverns, and then my addition, which was uh, the Serum Powder. I think Serum Powder is just a busted card. There's four of them. Uh, and it allows me to, uh, to sculpt my openings, which is what I really want in a deck like this. Uh, I want to get rid of slow openings i really want some fast aggressive openings the rest of the deck is pretty straightforward i have um 11 mountains and then four ramnap ruins now um i had didn't ruins anybody to death and i i might even be willing to go down with ramnap ruins just given the number of times i'm casting blood moon and then it shuts those ramnap ruins off I would be interested in maybe potentially some Sulphurous Springs to cast some Ley Lines of the Void. So um, I might try some, some changes there. The rest of the deck is pretty straightforward, pretty typical red. Um, I've got three Abrades for getting rid of uh, Ensnaring Bridges on the other end, which is terrible, um, but not too terrible. But anyway, I have the Abrades in there. Uh, they also can double as creature removal. And then five Rituals to help accelerate my three drops. Blood Moons, which hose a whole bunch of people. Super aggressive Goblin cards. Simeon Spirit Guides, which is free mana, also helps me ramp up. Three Ensnaring Bridges. The other one is in the sideboard for... Uh, protecting myself in creature aggressive decks. Uh, two Chandra Torch of Defiance, just a good card. Karns for the wishboard, and then Chalice, because Chalice on one in modern right now is super, super good, as all of the Eldrazi Tron players will tell you. My sideboard is a little different in the sense that I have four ley lines, and the ley lines are strictly a reflection of Hugak right now. I would replace them with something else if I didn't have to spend 50% of my games playing against Hugak. Two Anger of the Gods for sweeping. Two Chandra Awakened Infernos. Those are for my control matchups. And then my wish board is pretty straightforward. Uh, Graft Digger's Cage, Pithing Needle, Coding to blow up some lands. It's good against Tron. Torpor Orb versus Humans, uh, although I've not had a chance to bring it in yet. Ensnaring Bridge to wish for it if I need it. Trinisphere for Storm Games and slowing people down and of course lattice for the good old fashioned lattice lock uh in some of my other games uh that aren't the hugak games i pull on some of these wishboard cards and they actually make the difference between winning and losing anyway uh if you enjoyed it tune back in tomorrow when i will post some more gameplay thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys again soon